Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So let's do Sagittarius bonus reads for March 2022. Yes, I'm going to do all the signs. I'm going to cover all the signs in time, so don't worry about it. We are going to do max reads. So let us see Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. What are the messages for you? This is a general reading, okay? So this may or may not resonate. For more accurate readings, you can always book a personal reading from me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. You can also get any white prayer based spell done from me, okay, which does no harm to anyone but is for your highest good. And other remedies are also available to manifest anything that you want, okay? and uh, do subscribe to my channel for more updates and more guidance and more stuff okay about your sign and also follow me on instagram for latest updates crystals remedies um, motivational quotes and march predictions as well as daily horoscopes that really resonate with many of you um sagittarius sun moon rising and venus if you get confused like which one should I choose, first of all, always start with sun, okay? Because that's always been a traditional method. Forget about the complexity, just go with ease and simplicity. Sagittarius, messages for you. Okay, right. Hmm, all right. I feel like you're dealing with someone who has a lot of money issues right now. Sagittarius, you may not be knowing this, but they have some job-related, money-related issues. And this person is jumping from one place, hopping from one person to another, you know, to fulfill their, uh, their um, deficiencies, I would say. Okay, so I feel over here that there's someone that you're dealing with is not ready to commit to immature and is this is a risk that you're taking because this person someone who is immature, not um, not come out of their shell, who's just started their journey of life and they're maturing themselves, they're learning a lot in life and right now um, this person is, uh, you know, having a lot of struggle in their life they might not be telling you that and they might be lying to you about their life and i feel like this person might be interested in you sagittarius so it could be your own journey as well that you started off as nothing and you're becoming something so this also seems to me like your own journey you were at one point of time you were so scared of doing a job or earning for yourself not feeling confident enough and now you're like started and everything is going in your favor and you're like you got everything on your feet like the world is on your feet right now when it comes to love situation i do see someone coming from a different country maybe some of you or this is someone who has a different language who speaks a different language who believes in different things maybe they're from a different caste system some of you but i do see there is an option coming in in love and this person's thinking about you okay whereas Either you, Sagittarius, are scared of falling into this new connection, but I feel like, yes, this seems to me like a promising one, but this is someone new. This is not someone that you're dealing with from a long time and it's been too on and off because this person's immature and not ready to commit. This is someone completely new that you're going to start afresh and you'll find out that there are so many things between you guys that matches okay that is so similar that is like almost the same like you guys are mirrors for each other i feel like your person must be working at the same place as you are or they're at the same post as you are but i feel like this connection is gonna take you know it's gonna grow it's not gonna be like a sudden jump or sudden taking up a sudden height and then falling off the ground no it's going to be slowly gradually going upwards and i feel this love this love connection is going to uh, be amazing i also see an age difference for some okay whoever is a male person here is more older and is more experienced in life and uh, masculine energy right and this person's gonna work really hard i feel like you're dealing with another fire sign or a gemini but i feel like this person is someone that is you know not taking much action but you're the one they want you to take more action okay whoever is a male here needs to take more action anyway i do see the communication is strong and the masculine is gonna be more communicative more passionate and more fast forward in life i see like this person is also gonna make a lot of effort to maintain this connection and maintain the rhythm of this connection 
there's a lot of growth spontaneity in this and i feel like you guys are gonna be like together facing a lot of um issues um ups and downs in your life and you guys that is how it will make a strong bond okay i feel like there's a lot of work coming in and you're gonna do everything with so much passion and ease and when it comes to connection someone really is feeling like they want to get you by hook or by crook and this person's feeling like a little devilish like this person the lovers and the devil they're not gonna let you go anywhere once you're in their uh, you know trap you're in their trap you're not going anywhere else not in a bad way though but yeah i feel like this person's trapping you in their love and they they're gonna make you commit to them like marry them okay so uh, this seems to me like this person is gonna stick to you in the thick and thin and gonna be by your side when you most need it and this person are gonna leave you like they want equal share in each and everything about you in your life this is your marriage partner this is the one if you don't want to marry them they'll do anything and everything to get you with this person to get you get married with this person so this is a very very good energy but i feel like this person's like a little bit on a selfish side not a bad person but i feel like when they want you they'll have you they are someone with a clear vision okay they are someone when they go for it they believe in themselves and they have a clear vision that you're the one that they want okay because there's a lot of yellow which is telling me that they're conscious their conscious side their mind knows it that when they want you they want you okay and you're like okay why is this person so much in love with me you know like that Possible Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Gemini. Also, I'm sensing what else here. All right. Okay. This person's gonna fight for you. I feel like maybe they are someone at your workplace where right now things are not going right between you and this person. Maybe some sort of a competition or the ground is like that competitive ground you guys are meeting under a competitive ground but i feel like there will be people who will stop this true form like stop this connection not your close ones but someone at your work or the ones that are not close to you but they are like interfering i do, do see a lot of interference but then i feel there's a unity happening there's a new beginning there's sun that i also sense marriage and i also sense kids here so yeah, definitely you will marry this person. This is like your dream come true. And I feel this is a spiritual connection. You feel a bond which is beyond emotional. And there's just a lot of hope in this. There's a lot of trust in this connection. I feel like this is going to grow. And there's definitely a new beginning happening. There's a lot of masculine femininity combining themselves and forming this. Uh, this is like you guys are balancing like yin and yang, you know, feminine and masculine getting balanced. So this could be an Aquarius or a Leo person coming in. Well, see, when they see you, they find you extremely attractive and vice versa. And this is a lot of attraction. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of excitement, happiness and you know prosperity as well i see you uh, you know with this person i feel like you guys are going to you know stand up out of the crowd like you guys are gonna be seen as okay this person okay they have such a cute wife okay for all the males here if you're a female then your person will feel proud to have you okay but I feel like you might come off as a star, like a star person in the um, in your workplace. You will be seen as inspiring soul, and I do see you coming out as a star, as as a you know as standing out, odd one out like that. There's a lot of um, strength in this connection. I feel like you're gonna be super strong in holding your ground and maintaining the rhythm of your work. There's a lot of consistency. I feel like this person will try anything and everything to get you in their control. Not in a bad way though, in a good way that they want uh, this connection to never ever go down and get affected by the third person. Okay, there is a lot of struggle. I feel like Sagittarius, you will have time where you will be you know burdened with a lot of work tasks expectations fight politics and uh, you might feel like you are a failure but this person always lift up your spirits like anything this person's gonna lift up your spirits okay 
So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I do see after a lot of uh, chaos and conflict, okay, and turmoil in this connection, like going round and round and round, you guys are still going to be together. So, you guys are coming back to each other. So, this is how this bond is, like, very, very strong, very, very strong. I feel like this is because of this person, they're never going to leave you. You're, uh, they're always going to be by your side, never going to leave your side, uh, no matter what the situation how sour it gets, how bitter it gets. This is a true soulmate and this is twin flame, possible twin flame. Yeah, because it's going to go through a lot. Yeah, this connection is going to go through a lot. But I feel it's going to be a fun adventure. And it's like 90% uh, fun and just 10% conflicts, chaos, interference, like that. But this is you guys coming closer, closer with each time, with all the experiences that you guys will face together. This is a definite twin flame connection for sure. You might be seeing a lot of 4, 4, 8, 8 or 3, 3. This is what you're manifesting. This is the one for you. Not good. This is. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of passion. There's, there's, the more you guys are going to be in push and pull, the more passion you guys are going to feel the end of the day towards each other. The more you guys are going to get attached you're right very soon it's gonna happen and you'll see things happening like that forgiving and learning in this connection you guys both of you are mirroring right and you both will learn to come out of karmic situations or bad people or toxic situations easily you guys will learn to let go and forgive situations or people easily and so that you can move on Right, there's a wedding here. So you guys are going to get married soon for sure. There's marriage happening. What else? Your hard work is paying off. I see you becoming more and more successful with whatever you put your hard work and effort into. Um, so there's nothing to worry about. There's so much of roller coaster adventure and happiness. Like you're going to be, you know, living a journey that is so abundant and prosperous and unexpected turn of events that are going to make you even more and more happy. All right. And lucky. Unnecessary worries. Cut it out. All right. Sagittarius, please. Sag, please. Yeah. Change. There's major changes happening. Yes, definitely there's a change. There's ending of something that didn't work out. And there's a major change happening. And that is why you're, this is some sort of an unnecessary worry happening. Community. Maybe you're going to change your place where you're living. Okay. And live somewhere else. And I do see you might be starting a, a new family. Right. A new family, I would say. Sudden wealth, 11-11. What else do we have here? Yeah, base chakra. You're going to get rich. You're going to build a solid foundation in your work. And you're going to feel super secure in love, in money, in work, everything. And I feel like you're going to get more stronger. You're going to have much better build. And... Uh, a lot of fire in your energy and always wanting to do something better than the rest and you'll always be number one yeah round and round so i feel like i see sense this is a strong twin flame connection like this is a true twin flame connection i feel like it's not going to be too much of chaos and conflict but i feel like you guys are going to learn a lot together and you guys this this connection will get even more stronger so round and round is like you guys are going like back and forth, back and forth and completely getting together. Okay, marrying and having kids finally. Happy ending. Sagittarius. Yes. Look for a sign. I do see you might see a lot of one, 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 one when this person is there. And I also see them, see you, uh, see that they're giving you a lot of hints. You'll get to know, okay? You'll get to know who this person is. 
all tied up i feel like you will be busy with all the work so there's a lot of work coming in so that might put you in more on an anxious side so don't worry about it everything's gonna be fine that is another message that i'm getting now let's see from aries to pisces how does your person how does your person feel about you if this is resonating so far do not forget to hit like and comment down below let me know how now, Aries to Pisces, let's see how do they feel for Sagittarius, Aries. Aries feeling a strong, friendly bond. They want to take it further. They feel happy around you. Taurus already thinking about marriage and kids. And the Gemini has fallen in love. They're taking it forward. The Cancer is kind of feeling not good enough or they're going through a lot of emotional turmoil and financial problems. So give them space. Leo is coming towards you with a lot of... Um, Positivity and focus. The Virgo person is coming with a relationship offer. Libra, I feel like the Libra has um, some trust issues right now, so they may take time. Scorpio feeling hurt or they're going through some separation, so they're coming towards you, but slow. Uh, then we have Sagittarius. Mm. Okay, I feel like the Sagittarius is uh, feeling... Uh, a very emotional instability i feel like they've never felt that before and that is why they're going through a lot when they met you and this could be you trying to balance your emotions right capricorn is wanting to marry you and settle down thinking like that i want you to reach out to them whoever is a male here needs to reach out aquarius sees aquarius has options but they are focusing on you i feel yeah more focused on you Pisces, um, you are their wish fulfillment. You are the only one they want. So that is about it, Sagittarius. I hope this reading helped you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated. Till then, I will see you next time with more videos like this. Bye.